Hi, everyone. It's Arthur here at Arthur Ease Your Mind on YouTube and ArthurEaseYourMind.com. I'm an intuitive consultant and psychic advisor. And as always, thank you, thank you, thank you for the likes, the shares, everyone that subscribes to my channel. I really, really appreciate it. Plus the comments. And especially this week, I was supposed to do a show on Monday, had a migraine, and I got a lot of comments and emails from people sharing their migraine stories. So I feel like I'm not alone, but we'll get through this. I'm okay now. But then Tuesday came around, wasn't feeling the best, but did a show with Mel on Tuesday night. Wednesday came around, did a show with Sherry, and then I was going to do a show on Thursday, but I was in the studio once again for Unleash Your Creativity because I messed it up the first time. In the meantime, we finally did release the remastered and remixed version of The Winter Solstice. It's the winter solstice energy that you harness to manifest all that you want for the next year. So there you go. Now, as I mentioned, I had a whole different show planned for Monday. But my God, what a difference four days will make. First, Rudy Giuliani. <laughs> $148 million. Can you believe it? Ruby Freeman and Shea Moss deserve every penny for the hell this man and his minions put them through for the lies. And this was just a trial to figure out the damages. Okay? He didn't contest the first time around. This time around, he was going to go you know, stand in a witness box and tell the truth and, and rip off the truth on everything. Well, he didn't do that. Instead, a couple of days ago, he gave an interview and said how these two women, Ruby Freeman and Shea Moss, the two Georgia election officials, how they did everything that he said they did. Not a bright move. Because then... They played that for the jury. So are you surprised they came back at with $148 million? I'm not. God bless him. And don't forget, he still has Georgia to face in the RICO charges. So whenever I think of Rudy, this is what I get. Who wore better? That's from A Death in Venice with Dick Bogart. Now, the other thing that went down this week, and I don't want anyone to worry about it, is this faux impeachment of President Biden. It's a farce. There's no proof. There's no nothing. As I said in one show, it's nothing but the theater of the absurd. And... They have no proof. Like I said, no proof. But what they're trying to do is get the name Biden next to the word impeachment. So that way they can have the word impeachment next to Trump equal the same thing. Well, it doesn't equal the same thing, people, and we know it. And as a very learned, spiritually centered goddess would say, it's a nothing burger. Okay. It's just Captain Chaos. That's all this is. And Mike Johnson, his interview saying that we shouldn't impeach a president when you're talking about Trump. But now he's turning around and saying we should impeach a president when it comes to Biden, who has done nothing wrong. Well, he did do something wrong. He did. He won. He beat Trump. That's what he did. And I swear they're going to turn this into like some Benghazi crap or whatever, but it's going to go nowhere. And so in the meantime, what do they do? They pull in the president's son and go after him for back taxes, which he has paid. When are they going to go after Trump with his back taxes and fraud? Well, in New York, they are doing the fraud. But in the same time, it's not equal justice. 
It really isn't. And they're going to muddy up the waters and poor Joe looking at his son, Hunter, who's gone through so much and they're just the old expression, hit him, hit him when they're down, kick him. But Hunter's going to get through this. He's already admitted his mistakes. He's already paid the back taxes. And it's time to move on. If his last name was Jones or whatever, this would not be happening. But it is. So, everyone out there, please say a couple prayers. Most benevolent outcomes, whatever you do, to make sure that Hunter's okay. And the Biden family gets through this. And they will. And Hunter's surrounded. He's protected. He's got his brother, Bo. He has his mother. And he has his sister at his side. So they're going to help him through this. Okay? But prayers will also help. So please do that. And this just goes to show where I keep on saying vote, vote, vote. Come on, vote. I mean, when you hear Trump saying he wants to be a dictator and people are cheering, what's wrong with these people? But I will tell you this. I had a couple of people send me some links, some very frightening websites and some... YouTube pages that if I was spoon fed this stuff 24 seven, then I can understand the MAGA people. It was scary, horrible, terrorizing that this is what the Bidens are doing. And if that's the only news you're getting, you got to get out more. Really? I mean, this one guy was talking about how to set up a garden to grow your own food in a closet, which is fine. But then at the end, he says, so when those people are hungry and starving and you have food for you and your family and they're knocking on your door, you can open the door, laugh in their face and slam it. I don't think these are the values that this country was meant to be or meant to have. But anyway, so for those people, please, likes, shares of most benevolent outcomes. Because as I said before, if there's reincarnation, I look at these MAGA people and think, and that's the upgrade? What were they before? So help them see the light and the error of their ways, please. Entertainment purposes only, my opinion, blah, blah, blah. So, Ukraine, the money's there, but when you have the top MAGA extremists meeting with Viktor Orban, the prime minister of Hungary, who is Putin's you know, best buddy, and who Trump talks about all the time. And he's trying to get them not to give money to Ukraine because that's what Putin wants. This is going to come back and bite them big time, just like the impeachment stuff is going to come back and bite them. But the biggest thing of all that's really going to bite them is what happened in Texas. This poor woman, Ms. Cox, Mrs. Cox, who was pregnant and the baby would not survive. So she went to court. There was a judge that said, yeah, you can have an abortion. For once, I thought, oh my God, compassion. But then... Ken Paxton stopped it, threatens lawsuits to the hospital, to the doctors, and everyone else. So then she took it to the Supreme Court. 
Well, the fetus was not viable. It was not going to live. And it also, her health, and if she'd ever have children again, that was in jeopardy. So she left the state to get health care. Now, I don't know where in the Constitution it says you cannot go from one state to another to get the health care that you need. But if they try and go after her, Texas is going to go purple this year, and then it's going to go blue in about two years. Okay? People have had enough. When 75% of the population is against what the Supreme Court did with Roe versus Wade by knocking it down after 50 years, and then they're trying to say there can be no abortions whatsoever, regardless of what the reasoning is, because don't forget, the Texas Supreme Court did finally come back with a decision that she could not have the abortion. The fetus was not going to live. So I don't mean to be on a soapbox with this, but this really irks me. And when people think the Republicans are really good and they're, they, they're for small government, yeah, right. They're telling women what they can do with their bodies. They're in everybody's bedroom. Right. Come on, people. Vote. And vote with that your life depends on it. Because in some ways it does. Okay? This, this is not the time to sit back and go, okay, everything's going to be fine. No, it's not. It will be. But you have to help make it happen. Only we can do that. Okay? So every vote does count. Believe it or not. Sorry about that. But that really irked me. Now, I've got a lot of comments about Joe Biden asking about his age. What about his age? He's seasoned. Okay? And they're saying, well, listen to him talk. The man stutterer. Okay, he may have slowed down a little bit these last couple of years, but if ever you see a picture of a president after the first term, the age. So, but the man's still going. He's like an Energizer bunny. So I was being asked, will President Biden give VP Kamala Harris more responsibilities next year to show off her skills? So many people are worried if something happens to President Biden, is VP Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris ready, able to step in? She is, people. Thing is, she's been doing a lot of work. It's just that, I mean, Republicans can fart and put up a flag and say, look what I did. And, every, and Fox News goes, yay. She's been working hard. She's been getting things done. I mean, she's voted 51 times in the Senate to get things done. So come on. It's going to happen. She's going to be fine. He's our next president. And people keep on asking me, well, what about if he does get in? Is he too old? Is it going to be all right? He's going to be fine, people. Okay? He's a bit overworked right now. He's traveling a lot, more so than Humpty Dumpty did for meaningful things. And it's like people are asking, if Nikki Haley becomes a Republican nominee, do you see President Biden winning? Yes, I do. I've predicted, and I'll I'll say this, I'll say it again. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I don't see Trump finishing the finish line. Nikki Haley may be the nominee. She's not going to win. She's MAGA. She may say things a little bit more eloquent than the orange dumpster. But she's still MAGA. Everything that MAGA stands for, so does she. Whatever the Koch brothers want her to say, she'll say. Okay? Entertainment purposes only. Blah, blah, blah. Now, Joe's going to be fine. Kamala is there by his side. 
but not holding him up per se. Okay? That's where we find people. And the more I see Trump, the more, especially with this dog and pony show or clown show or freak show, with all the, you know, he doesn't even know where he is half the time. And then him saying that he's healthier than Obama. Oh, that's right. He's six, whatever he is, and 215 pounds. Perfect health. He said his doctor said he's in perfect health. Do you remember when we were kids, we had Mr. Potato Head, and we could dress up Mr. Potato Head as his doctor? I'm wondering if that's who his doctor is. He does love french fries. Anyway, moving on. Huh? Here's a great question. I once heard Michael Cohen say that the only person Trump is afraid of is Melania. But he never said why. Maybe she's even more evil. Love your sense of humor. Well, thank you. Well, the way I look at it is she knows where the bodies are kept. Not only that, she knows where the shovels are and she knows where the receipts for the shovels are. That's all I'm going to say. Now about the Trump kids, are they going to jail? There's some stuff going to I mean, there's deals going to be made and all this kind of stuff, but some, I feel Eric is going to take the fall. Okay. For a lot of it. And you can't compare what he's going through with what Hunter's going through because he was more in the limelight with his father. Hunter was just in the background doing what he was doing. So don't try and equate the Biden children with the Trump children. No way are they equal. Vicky asks, I'm looking forward to your all-knowing wisdom. Well, it's because I put water in my magic eight ball. That's why. Do you see Pete Buttigieg being a part of President Biden's cabinet in 2025? Thank you. P.S. I love your solo shows. When I do them. <laughs> yeah, he's going to be around. He's going to be around. And you know why he's doing a good job? You know how you know he's doing a good job? Because it's driving MTG, my tragic girlfriend, crazy. It's driving Republicans crazy that he's doing well. Like I've always said, yeah, I remember all of those press conferences and everything that Elaine Chow had when she was doing the same job, right? Remember those? Yeah, neither do I. Will Bill Barr ever be held accountable? Patricia asks. Yes. However, while Melania... They know where the bodies are and the shelves are kept. William Barr knows where the shelves were made. I believe he will turn over everything he knows in a heartbeat. So I feel he's going to go for immunity. I think it sucks. Entertainment purposes only. But that's what I get. Then I got a couple of questions about Matt Gates, our favorite. Not really. Will Matt Gates go to jail? Is it because his human trafficking of underage girls or because of the insurrection? And then Josephine asks, now that McCarthy is leaving Congress, will Matt Gates be next? He's next, people. But I feel it's going to be at his term. When he's on his term. But it's like what I keep on seeing is he goes out the door and they put the handcuffs on him. I also feel that in February, more stuff is coming out from the ethics committee against him. Now that they got George Santos out of the way. Mr. Toast. George Santos. Yeah, that's it. Anyway, but Matt Gates, he's going to, he's not walking away from this unscathed okay but don't forget his buddy turned on on him turned in him turned against him with him being involved with an underage girl 
across state lines. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, I think he might be in a little jail cell. I don't think he'll be able to plead, plead deal his way out of this one. Now, Proud Jenner X77 asks, Christian Ziegler, the chairman of the Florida Party, Republican Party, is being accused of rape, but has refused to step down from his position, even though Florida Republicans, including DeSantis, have been pressuring him to resign. What do you see happening? I love the fact his name is Christian. He's going away. You know, they all fade away after a while. So, just don't get so wrapped up in the insanity. I mean, it's a Republican. It's about sex. What do you think is going to happen? Yeah. So, Cat Mama asks, Hi, Arthur. Eugene Vidman, a victim of 45's tyranny, is running for Congress as a Dem in Virginia. Will he win? Thanks. I say he's going to win. I'm not sure if it's this time around. But eventually he gets in. Okay? I could be wrong. But that's what I get. Now, what happened to Beto O'Rourke of Texas? He's still doing what he does. Believe me. He's going to help turn this Texas purple and blue. And I am going on a limb now, and I'm going to say that, Ted, I'm reading from Dr. Zeus Cruz, is not going to win. The only way he'll win is with lots of black, dirty money. Entertainment purposes only. So... The whole thing people are asking about oligarchs, about living in a dictatorship. We're not living in a dictatorship, people. We're not living in a dictatorship. If Trump is elected, then we're living in a dictatorship. And we'll have to fight it. But the only way we can fight and fight fairly is what's those three words? Can I hear it? Vote, vote, vote. Now, I hope I wasn't all over the place today because I have been a bit scattered. But I do think I do keep notes, people. I do. Doesn't mean I know how to read them, but I do keep notes. So, okay, not, do not worry. Bottom line, do not worry. Just keep the light on in your brain, in your heart, and in your head, okay? Positive vibration is fast vibration. Positive energy is fast vibration. So do that. And every time you start getting a panic attack after you hear Trump did this or Trump did that or Trump did this or whatever, relax. Here's the exercise I use. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath. Put your hand over your heart. Be silent. Feel your heartbeat. Breathe steady. You'll notice that your heart beats just a little softer. And your breath is not so rushed and anxious to so do that except when you're driving but <laughs> that's not a good idea but just do that and you'll be fine i'm serious people so i wouldn't ramble on too much but it's the way it is so i'm going to be doing some collabs next week and then the following week is Christmas, and the following week is taking everything back to the stores. No, just kidding. Nobody sends me anything. So <laughs> um, just take care of you, okay? Take care of others. 
Be kind to yourself, be kind to others, as I always say. And most importantly, be safe, have fun, and stay amazing. All right, people. Thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye.